Before proceeding to write SQL Server queries, let's spend some time to look at how SQL Server is structured. In SQL Server, up on the top, you have a server. Think of this as a physical machine that you're connecting to. So you're connecting to a computer that is serving as a server. Under each server, you can have multiple databases. Databases are entities that contain all the data structured in various tables. Under each database, you have schemas. Think of schemas as the ownership structure. So within each database, you can have different owners. Say you have sales team that owns their own schema and objects underneath it, such as tables. And then you have schema that belongs to customer service. Under each schema, you have what we call objects. Objects are entities such as tables, store procedures, views, etc. Our main focus is going to be tables. Now I'm gonna go to SQL Server and show you how this looks within SQL Server. Here I am in SQL Server Management Studio. I am connected to a server that's on my machine and here is the name of that server. You can connect to multiple server within this interface and all of them will appear underneath it. So when you click on this minus sign, it collapses and you will be able to see next server, etc. To connect to a server, go up to file menu and connect to object explorer. And this is where you can put second server's information and it will add it right here. If we don't have any second SQL server, we will just work with the one that we implemented earlier. So go ahead and cancel it. Now click on this plus sign to expand this server. Underneath the server, you will see the databases. So if you expand it, likely you're not going to see any databases because we haven't created any databases yet. I will walk you through the process of creating a database. However, for now, you can just follow along to see how the structure is. So here you have the databases, AdventureWorks, Anil Test, Marketing DB. When you click on any of these databases, it'll show you, it will show you another set of folders. That's the way for database to organize objects underneath it. We will be looking at tables. This is where all the data gets stored. So go ahead and expand on tables. And this is where you can see all the list of tables. The tables are prefixed with the schema name. This table is owned by DBO. This table department is owned by human resources. Address is owned by the person schema. Here you have the production schema, sales schema, etc. If it's not clear at this point, don't worry. As we go through this course, things will start to become more clear. Another thing I want to touch is the menu options up here in the SQL Server Management Studio. Clicking on new query will open a window where you will write all your SQL queries. When you first click on it, it's going to connect to master database. That's a system database that's available under system databases. However, we won't be working with the system databases because those are used by SQL Server internally. In order for this window to execute the query, you have to be in the right database. The way to do that is hover over to this option and click on the arrow and pick the database that you wanna work in. Now all your queries will be executed on this database. If you are not in the right database, then your queries won't work. So anytime you get an error that you can't find the table, it is very likely that you are working in the wrong database. So you have to go up here and change it. I will use rest of the menu options as needed as we go through this course.